It's a beautiful day and we are cooking with Counselor Corella. Good uh, pleasure having Counselor Corella in our kitchen today. We like to feed our cyclists uh, every Sunday. We always prepare a specialized meal, uh, whether it's pasta, uh, some sandwiches, uh, chicken. But today we're going and we're going to kick it up a notch with uh, Counselor Corella's famous, famous chicken adobo. Let's get cooking, Counselor. Let's get cooking. Cooking with Tony Carella. Counselor Carella in the kitchen. What are we making today, Tony? We're making chicken adobo. It's a, it's a very well-known Filipino dish, which I actually learned about in Venice in 1985. We were visiting a friend. They had a Filipino cook, and uh, she made this fabulous chicken dish. And afterwards, I asked her for the recipe. And over the years, I, I must have cooked it 100 times for the family, friends, uh, at uh, family reunions, up to about 60 people. Um, everybody loves it. It's, and it's very, very simple. And we're going to have it there. Take us through a, a 10 second blitz on how to make it. Let's okay, go. Very quick. You wash the chicken, put it on a pot such as this, which sits on top of the stove. You pour over a mixture of uh, tamari sauce, which is fermented soya sauce, and wine vinegar, lots of garlic, uh, a few grindings of pepper. Uh, you bring it to a boil. You uh, Turn it down to a simmer, cover it, about 35 minutes it's done. And it's Once done. in a while you can baste it with the juice that's at the bottom of the pan. Make sure the top pieces, if you're doing two layers, make sure the top pieces get, get the, as much of the, uh, of the sauce as possible. So I'm serving it with brown rice, a uh, nice combination, and a little salad on the side uh, for a full course meal. Chicken adobo with Counselor Corella in the kitchens at the Venero Center. We're the Venero Cycling Club and we're cooking with Corella. Cedric, can you just handle all this cooking action? No, man, that's why I come late all the time. <laughs> 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 this is too much. See how much that is, That'll and then sweet. do double the amount of water in the other in the other bowl. Two two bowls of the same amount out of here of the water, and uh, and we're home free. We're all set up. Now, Tony, is there a reason why we're using brown rice today? Yeah, I just think it has more flavor than white rice. I might be kidding myself, but I just find it. And I think it's more nutritious. And instead of water, can we flavor that with a chicken stock, perhaps, or yeah, vegetable sure, stock? Sure. But uh, this has got a lot of flavor in it. And in the end, the, uh, the, the juices from the chicken blend with the tamari and the, uh, uh, and the vinegar and the garlic, so it makes, it makes uh, quite a tasty sauce. So, you know, I would say you could spoon some of the sauce over the rice and then put the chicken on top of it in here. You saw how simple that's going to be, and it was just a simple, few simple ingredients, Tony, and uh, well prepared and well uh, managed in the kitchen, and it's done. It's nice. Like I say, it's one of the simplest dishes you can do. We're doing it for what, 60 people? 60 people today. If you're doing it for eight, preparation time's like like four minutes, and uh, cooking time 35, 40. It even cook, you know, in a smaller quantity, it will cook faster. Um, so it, 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 and it's a remarkable dish. If, once you have it, you, you fall in love with it. You we, want to have it. We again. can't wait to try it. So thanks for being with Not us, Tony. My pleasure. Beautiful. Let's get writing. Okay.